Okay. Alrighty. Okay. What's happening? Our governors, and have you noticed, uh, I believe the worst offenders are the Democrats, the ones who have been warning that Donald Trump is a fascist. He's a fascist. He's going to be Hitler. He'll be Mussolini. Can I tell you something? I'm one of those guys that said, in fact, I believe, we should look back on this, Stu. I believe during the um, election in 2016, when I was against Donald Trump, I said, there's going to come uh, a depression. A depression will hit. And this guy will be more FDR than FDR. And he will nationalize the banks and nationalize everything because that was in his history. He's talked about those kinds of things. And that was my big concern. And that was the only concern that I had left on Donald Trump. You know, far as policies. He's either done it with the trade, which I disagree, but it's worked out fairly well, it seems. Um, and then he's done all the things with Israel and the war and everything else. We hit all of those hurdles. We're now at the massive economic crisis. Is he going to seize power like FDR did? Uh, no, he's not. I, I, and I am thrilled by this. He's not doing it. And the people who are calling for him to do it are the press and the governors. And the only thing I can think of is because they want him to do it. So when they get in office, they can do it. And they say, well, you didn't have a problem when Donald Trump did it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would. He's not doing it. And all of these governors are turning into little Mussolini's. In, in Mississippi, not even a drive-in church is allowed. Not even a drive-in church. Now, what's a drive-in church? People come out, they get in their cars, they're listening on the radio, or they crack their a window open or they sit on the hood of their car like in a drive-in movie theater and you're at least six feet apart and that's not good enough it is the the in mississippi the pastor of the king james bible baptist church in greensville had the drive-in method of holding services. The mayor issued an order prohibiting that service and sent the police and, and actually said, your rights are suspended. Ex excuse, I'm sorry, excuse me, what? Uh, I believe my rights are inalienable, which means no man can change them, take them. No man can. I have an inalienable right. Now we're assembling, and we're assembling here safely. We're assembling. We're, we're all social distancing. This is insane what's going on. In Michigan, the governor has banned residents from buying seeds or plants and gatherings of any size. Um... Excuse me? Pardon me? Uh, church members at uh, the Temple Baptist Church, they were suspended. There's another one in Kentucky. Here, this one, the, the Louisville mayor uh, also banned Easter Sunday drive-in church services. You couldn't do it there. The Kentucky worshipers, um, in our, who are supposed to be in lockdown, showed up. But when they showed up, there was heavy police presence and nails blocking the parking lots of the churches. So you couldn't drive in. They put nails on the parking lot. What, 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 what is happening in America? What is happening? Federal court now prohibited Louisville mayor from banning the church service. 
So at least someone is going to the courts. Some of these guys have got to be held responsible. What are, are we even America anymore? I mean, I really, I do understand. Stu, help me out here. I do understand, you know, saying to people, hey, look, you can't do this. Don't, don't do this. But when somebody like a church says, we're going to do this and we're going to be separate, we're going to be in our own cars, what is the problem with that? I can't think of any. I, you know, they're trying to figure out a way to, to take more and more control. We're, we found this in, you know, Michigan's is a really bad example, it seems like, where these executive order is, is restricted even if, you know, to the point of if you have multiple houses in, in Michigan, you're not really allowed to travel between them. Like, what? Like, I, I, this, this thing against driving is so bizarre. Every time you open up your Waze app, it says, make sure you're only driving if you really need to. What does that have to do with COVID-19? Like, oh, I, like, if I'm right. going to drive and uh, get I'm out and go to a party and start making out with strangers, sure, I get it. But it's like this, if I'm in the car with the same people I'm in my house with, why would that make a difference? Uh, I mean, we have gone for, I mean, it's funny because when I was growing up, you're probably too old to remember this. It may have just been a saying when you were, when you were growing up, Stu, but it was a reality when I was growing up, Sunday drives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've you ever heard the phrase, oh, oh it's yeah. a Sunday driver? Sunday driver. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sun okay. So Sunday driver, do you know what that is? Do you know why that is a thing? I mean, uh, I just remember it being like the people who were kind of driving slow and would be in the way right. and not really trying to get anywhere. Do you know why they were called Sunday drivers? Um, Besides driving on Sunday. Yeah. Well, yeah, I figured that was. I mean, the only thing I could think of is maybe yeah. the the blue laws. Was it tied to that where there's nothing really open? Yeah. So you okay. had to. Okay. Yep. So you would go driving and you would say, I mean, my grandfather used to say this all the time. My dad would say it. Hey, let's go for a Sunday drive. And what you do is you get the whole family because everything was closed. So you get the whole family into the car and you drive around neighborhoods and parts of the city you've never seen before or you just want to go look at. So everybody was distracted and you were looking out the sides of the window. So you're driving really slow, you know, and you were distracted. The driver was distracted. So a Sunday driver was somebody who's just like, would you please stop? You don't need to see everything. Just <laughs> go. OK, yeah. so Sunday driving, I've said to my kids, Look, you want to go for a Sunday drive? Let, let's just get in the car. Let's just go for a drive. What is the problem? The minute the cop stops me, you, Mr. Police Officer, expose me and my family to you. I wasn't exposing anybody. I'm in my car. Now, if I'm speeding or something else, fine. But if you're stopping me to ask me why I'm driving, you're now exposing me. Are you six feet away from my window? I mean, it's insane. I mean, it seems like the type of activity you would want to encourage at this time, yes. right? Give people a chance to go and do something. You know, you go, you go see maybe a site that you always wanted to see. You drive. I mean, what are you going to do? The only thing, the only place you can stop anyway are gas stations and grocery stores. So that's you know you're going to probably stop and go maybe go through a drive through and get some food. You're not going to be going to a, a you know a major gathering of any sort. You're just going maybe to see scenery or just drive around and do something. Just get out of the house. I mean, I, every parent I talk to is 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 amazed at the fact that when they want to go through the Wendy's drive through now. Everybody rushes to get in the car with them, uh, where before you couldn't get them out of the house. And it's like people right, want some right. sort of escape, and you're, they're taking these things yep. away. Even in Texas, Glenn, you know, one of the things they had in you know in Texas where people were still going golfing in certain places. Now, golfing is I'm not a golfer, but it's it's a it's a obviously a place I mean, people did it to get your head straight before these times. Right. You right. could do it easily social distancing. Most golfers suck. They hit the ball nowhere near each other anyway. It's basically you're walking in a field uh, and, 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 and not even you know, really interacting with people, especially if you were to have the golf courses say, make sure you do X, Y, and Z. Well, they, they, got, they got rid of that. That's now a non-essential activity. Now, of course, it is not essential, 
but it is a, 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 a there's no reason to stop it i swear the only reason they stopped it is because evil rich people are the ones who typically enjoy golf and we can't give them something that we like uh that they like if we can't give it to everybody else which is Look, you know, it's not like you're playing you're not playing racquetball you're not playing basketball i mean you that's a team sport Golf is a sport against yourself mainly, mm -hmm. and you can easily play that at great distances from one another. Yeah. I mean, you know, you go out typically in a foursome, right? Instead, if you went by yourself, like let's say they went all the way, because you could probably easily do it with two people, but just say it's all the way is one person per group playing by themselves. And so they're having one quarter of the amount of people out on the course. Uh, this would be, there's no reason they could not do that. Everybody knows you could go out and walk in a park by yourself and it's not an issue, but they're doing these things on beaches, in, in the water, in, you know, at, at these drive-in churches, they're doing this to send signals, right? They're, they're wanting them, everybody to know that they're in control, that you're not allowed to do these things, so that they're bad. going to enforce it. And they want these big examples because it scares other people off from doing anything. Yep, but that is not a good long-term strategy. Again, we can knock this thing out. Let's just say we're all perfect, and this goes to zero. Then what, right? We have no cases in the entire country. What happens the next day? Because the next day, I know we have borders that are open from a country that's doing nothing in Mexico. I know we have that. I know we'll still have flights coming in from countries all over the world who are doing nothing. We'll still have uh, people eventually getting sick again. And then starting this whole thing all over again, and we'll go through this entire process all over again if we don't come to some sort of sensible ground where we can look at these things and say, okay, drive through drive in church is obviously okay. Golfing by yourself is obviously okay. And you know, when we driving. have driving driving is okay. Driving. And then when we have a breakout in this town, we will start from zero and say, okay, we have a breakout here. Let's do the contact tracing thing before it gets out of control. Let's, you know, let Americans want to do this, right? Americans will be happy to say, look, if we have an outbreak, you know, we'll, we'll do the contact tracing thing. We will self-isolate. We will keep people out of the way. And then when we get past it, we can go back again. What they don't want is this never ending um, one size fits all nonsense. And it's not surprising the Democrats would want that.